Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'm going to be applying Surround WP to my fruit trees as a crop protectant. Surround WP is a naturally occurring kaolin clay product that when applied to fruit trees forms a physical barrier to prevent disease and insect damage to your crop. This is a 25 pound bag of kaolin clay that I bought online, though you can order smaller quantities to suit your needs. And in general, the brand isn't so important, as long as you get fine powder that can dissolve in water. The instructions for use are found in the clear pouch on the front. The pamphlet states to use 1 quarter to 1 half pound of clay powder for every 1 gallon of water, or about 2 to 3 cups of clay powder per gallon. We'll be mixing and applying the solution using a 2 gallon manual pressure sprayer, which I got at Home Depot, though any brand should work. I'm going to be spraying it on my peach tree this year, as I always have a problem with plum curculios damaging my crop. First, add half the amount of water that you want to use into the sprayer's water tank. In this case, half of two gallons is one gallon. Now we'll add half a pound of clay to the water. Remember to always add the clay after putting water in the sprayer, since if you put the clay in first and then pour water over it, you'll end up with large lumps of clay. Now we'll close up the container and seal it tightly. Give it a good shake for about 30 seconds to mix the powder with the water thoroughly. Then we'll top up the container with the other half of the water and shake it up again. You'll notice that I'm wearing goggles and a face mask because I don't want to inhale the water droplets or get it in my eyes. However, the clay itself is non-toxic and not a chemical pesticide, fungicide, or herbicide, so it's safe for organic gardens. And it's also used a lot in cosmetics, though those grades tend to be more expensive. Before spraying and during application, give the container a good shake to keep the clay suspended in the solution. Then pump up the pressure in the canister and spray your fruit tree thoroughly. You'll want to cover every surface of the tree, including the tops and undersides of the leaves, the trunk, and branches not just the fruit. The first application will look quite spotty, but don't worry, just allow that coat to dry for about 30 minutes. Then you can apply a second coat, and you'll start to see the coverage slowly start to become more broad. And what this does is create a physical barrier between the fruit and pests to prevent damage. For best results, apply at least three coats initially, and reapply weekly and after heavy rains. You'll want to apply the first spray just after petal fall, after the flowers have all been pollinated, when the fruit is just starting to form. You'll continue to apply the spray throughout the fruiting season, as the fruit develops and becomes larger. For me, that was about 6-7 to seven times until harvest time. Here we are, just about ready to harvest our peaches, and you can see how many peaches I have, and in what great shape they're in. There was very little insect damage this year, and I saw much less loss due to fungus and mold problems. As I said, the clay is non-toxic, so it's inert and safe to consume, though it may be unpleasantly chalky. So I found the best way to enjoy the peaches is to rinse them off with warm to hot water, which is pretty effective at removing the clay. You'll notice that where the clay sat on the skin of the peach, the coloring is mottled versus deep red because the sun couldn't reach the fruit's skin. However, this does not impact the fruit's ripeness or flavor. Overall, the kaolin clay did wonders for protecting my peaches, and I was able to harvest about five times more throughout the season compared to the year before. I got about 25 pounds of peaches from my small tree. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.